Hey, it's me, the mouth of the sound, Jimmy Hart. Hey, check out my new tag team, baby, Money and the Pharaoh. Hey, Jimmy, don't forget to tell them about Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Well, you know what, I would, but you already did it. You've got the future Hall of Famer, that rocker, Marty Jannetty, MJ in the house, and I'm sitting here with two more future Hall of Famers, Monty and the Pharaoh. We're doing that stuff, and we're going to rock it. And Monty and the Pharaoh. Oh, is it Monty and the Pharaoh? Monty and the Pharaoh. Monty and the Pharaoh. Duh. I'm having a wonderful time with Monty and the Pharaoh, and I'm going to put him in a cross face chicken, and he's going to go down right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Not get a call off the Russian nightmare. And you're watching the number one show on Long Island with Monty and the Pharaoh. You can't have your opinion about right. any stuff except on this show. That's why I love this show. There you go. Thank you know you, what I'm saying? Welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler and broadcast, Monty Nefaro, only seen here out of Indie Music TV, out of Ron Konkuma, Long Island. Prayers go out to the uh, family of uh, Bobby Eaton. We lost Bobby Eaton yesterday. Um, I don't know, uh, some tough stuff. Thoughts on Bobby Eaton there, Farrow? Uh, well, as you know, this is because the Farrow usually doesn't spend very much time on the internet at all. I was just basically told by you and our guest, Mustafa. So I have just found out. Um, uh, I, uh, hor horrible, absolutely horrible. I think Bobby Eaton, if on a wrestling um, opinion, it was very underrated, in my opinion. My God, he was one of the part of the one of the greatest tag teams that ever, ever, ever existed in this business. Bobby Eaton had a tremendous personality. I love watching him. Uh, you know, I always enjoy the old matches. I always go back and watch the old classic matches. And, you know, some wrestlers grow over the years like a fine wine. As you watch them, you appreciate them more. You start to notice other things about them. Like, you know, wow, I didn't, I, I didn't pick that up when I was younger. Bobby Eaton's one of them, man. This is one of the all-time greats, especially in the tag team specialists of the world. This is a, this is a big loss. This is a big loss. Bobby Eaton falls in the uh, category of, mm. like, just the guy that was always solid. Remember, oh you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. The thing I always remember the most growing up watching Bobby yeah. was uh, the Midnight Express music when the Midnight Express <laughs> used to come out. You dun, love dun, a good dun, intro, dun, don't dun, you? Dun, yeah, dun, 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 dun. How cool was that? It right? was amazing. And you know, he had it. I'm sorry. He had it then. You know, I mean, he's it's grown with me over the years how much of an it factor he has, but he always had it. What a great in ring wrestler, too. You know, just perfect. And to me, the um, the the focal point of the team always. You know, there were you know Midnight Express had more than one in, you know incarnation. So, mm -hmm. but man, oh man, Bobby Eaton, rest in peace, brother. What a legend. Random thought. Mm hmm. Random thought. I get worried when I you get put a little random thought. I was thinking what? about this today. Right. You were thinking. That's Should the original already. MTV VJs be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Wow. Mark Goodman, Martha Quinn, Alan Hunter, J.J. Jackson, Nina Blackwood. As a group. As a group. You do you damn Skippy. Absolutely. As a group. Yes. Absolutely. What the MTV VJs were not part of something that changed how we look look at music. My God, what an impact. And J.J. Jackson alone, just on Cool Factor. In. Nina Blackwood just on I'm 14 and oh my God, she's so hot. In. Alan Hunter, just because of the fact that he was in fashion wearing the mask in the David Bowie video. In. Who else we got here? Martha Quinn. How could she not be in? She's the girl next door. Boy, by the Did way. Did you knock one out to Martha Quinn? Did I knock one out to Martha Quinn? No, Nina Blackwood, I used to sprain my wrist. <laughs> Why? How about you? Did you knock one out to Martha Quinn? Absolutely. How about Martha Quinn and Nina Blackwood? Double-fisted. What if Mark Goodman walks in and ruins the whole thing? 
I'll knock one out. You're to Mark still Goodman. finishing. I'll finish up. Well, interesting. You like guys with curly hair. Huh? I go both ways. All right, Mark Goodman. You're in the Hall of Fame, too. We want to welcome pro wrestling great Mustafa. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Man, no problem, man. Glad to be here, man. We lost New Jack um, recently, and uh, knowing you were coming in, we th obviously it's a, it's a great time to get to speak with you about New Jack, you know, the man. Uh, I personally was a ECW, uh, you know, from the last time you guys were here, I'm sure I said it then too, ECW was my favorite company. It was my favorite company back in the day. Yeah. You know, I, I absolutely, it, was my, it felt like it was my company. This was the company I rooted for, and it felt so, it just, it was the one for me. Uh, and Jack, and, and you were one of my favorites, and I'm, I'm still not processing his being gone. Uh, can you give me your thoughts on what, where you were when you heard, and, and how you were feeling, and, and how you're feeling now, and, and some memories of Jack for us, please? Uh, believe it or not, I was uh, at, a, at a gym, and uh, uh, one of the guys that worked there, he said, man, New Jack is uh, gone. And uh, so uh, um, I was uh, shocked, you know, uh, shocked. And not because we all going to go one day. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, I'm not saying that. But we still had a long way to go as far as projects and stuff together and things like that. And I see, I knew the Jerome Young side. See, you know, a lot of people see New Jack, the one where he want to stab you, you know. <laughs> but but I, I knew Jerome Young uh, uh, side where, you know, he said, uh, uh, you know, when we, we decided to tag, he said, Mustafa, you got to do this. You know, you get buy, 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 buy this, these boots and we need this. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. Stuff you need for the mm -hmm. tag team. And, and uh, it, that was all his gimmick. That was all his gimmick. Uh, Mustafa Saeed is in for money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm in to make money. Uh, the, and, and Jack, but we, but we happened to be friends because we were doing things before we were wrestling. So, um, I got to know the Jerome Young side, and then when they seen the New Jack side, you know, don't get me wrong, he used to get pissed off at me. Okay. But would it be a real tag team? Would it be a successful tag team right. at all if you wasn't mad at each other? You know, and I, I miss him. I really miss him, man. We had the real good laughs. Uh, man, we ain't never, I ain't never laughed that hard. I, I, I think I did enough laughing for 10 lifetimes with him. So, uh Forget what everybody else see. He did a lot of stuff for the money. So if he says, oh, talk about uh, Paul Lee, you know, and he had legit to say about him, but, you know, it make money, yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll go out and explain. Say something about Mustafa. Say something about uh, D'Lo, you know, and, give, and he would say the audience it. what they want to hear. Right? Yeah, and, 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 and uh, people go, man, Mr. he's mad at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So next thing you know, and I'm calling him on the phone, and, and we talking, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't call him because of that. You know, I was we was talking. Hey, Mustafa, we got we got a show on the East Coast, man. You need to go, get ready, man. And you know that's what he would do. You know, not that you would know this, and I'm I'm just purely out of my speculation and some things I heard. Was his heart attack brought on by use of drugs at the time doing it, or was it just that his heart had had enough from some of the stuff he was doing before? Do you know oh, anything about that at all? You, you know, uh, I, I think that when it's your time, it's your time. I've been, I've been in the military, so I was standing in formation. They make three or four guys stand in, in front of the line. He said, you, 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 you're gone. Now what you guys going to do watch the, to watch the rest of these people's back? So the reality was, I knew that I didn't think that far into it, but it just hurt my. It hurt me uh, when I sat in the room. I didn't get out. Of, I didn't leave the room for a good probably 24 hours. Out of my, just staying in my own room there probably 24 hours. In the in you the know? weeks that have uh, passed since, have you found it, yourself looking at your Rolodex, maybe going, you know, maybe I'll give Jack a call and then and then yeah, I catch myself doing it. Mm. I catch myself doing it. Tech about to text him. Mm-hmm. You know things mm -hmm. like that. Where do you I, feel his legacy lies? Uh, what would you say if you were if you were to write the uh, the obituary for his career, and and where would you place him? How would you describe his wrestling career? Or would it be like Clubber Lang? Pain. <laughs> Clubber Lang. Clubber Lang. Yeah, yeah. It, it got, because it, because uh, with with it was he showed the reality of how wrestling could be, mm -hmm. but but he also showed that. Uh, he could wrestle. Yes. He yes, could he wrestle. Could. Yes, but he, could. he didn't. Then he chose to do the latter 
Mm -hmm. And uh, that was his prerogative. You, you know think I mean? it was the style of wrestling or the matches? Because you know how much your, your, your good friend pushed his body. Do you think that that had something to do with his? Well, you adjust to, I mean, you, 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 you can't do some of the stuff that you did 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when you think back, I mean, if you look back at somebody, somebody didn't make no sense to right. do it. Right. You know, no matter how much money you was making. Did you ever try to talk to him, or, you know, back in the day about, hey, you might want to not jump 30 feet, keep it at 20? Well, you, <laughs> he, he was like this. Hey, don't, 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 don't you think? I, I, I would say something. Go. I'm telling you to slow down a little bit. Nah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a drug addict, too, and so I'm trying to tell him. But anyway, at that time, yeah. and then, uh, you yeah. know, uh, uh, and I don't knock that. I, I'm going to tell you one thing, though, I, uh, getting off subject just a little bit. Weed is not a bad thing for people. Agreed. Okay, we will get back on that subject later. Okay, but back Fair to I, I, I used to tell him. He said, uh, oh, I'm, sorry, "I'm good." And I said, "All right, I leave him alone." Right. Every time I was saying, so, "Jack, you don't have to do that." They, you, you got the popularity. You're enough. over, man. You're over. Take it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you, right. you, you, right. you're doing your thing, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, but you bouncing, man. You got more bounce to downs, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, that, that, that's how he is. Right. Oh. Black lives matter. Oh, what are your thoughts? Wow, hit it. Um, until we stop killing each other, interesting. I'm not gonna get in. Uh, you know, you know that's a gimmick. You know, a lot of that stuff is a gimmick. Gimmick. They don't care about. Interesting. It's, it's, it's like uh, Lance Armstrong. I'm clean, man. I'm clean. I won them seven Tour de France's. How does it make you? Two feel? houses later, mm. some. <laughs> Somebody got two big old mansions, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, it really mattered, didn't it? How does it make you feel? About Black Lives Matter? Yeah, about it being a gimmick in your opinion. How does that make uh, you feel? They, 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 you can't be happy Make your money. It. They, people, want to, people give the money up voluntarily. Absolutely. You know, but, but it is some legitimate stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, come on now, you know it's a crooks. Mm -hmm. You got your crooks in it. Right. It's a crooks in everything. It's even for them children hospitals. Okay, there's crooks and everything. So, when they get caught, Matt, you can be mad at me if you want to, but when they get caught, mm. Mustafa said that. Yeah, don't say he didn't warn them. Right, some people going to get busted, man. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, a lot of people not doing what you think. I'm sure. And then, we, you know, um, you know the, the, the privacy of what you feel, you can't really say anymore no. No. because, like, you see what happens. A lot of people lose sponsorships. And, right. Okay, I don't even worry about right. that. But you know, right. a lot of people lose sponsorships. You you can't have your opinion about right. any of this stuff except on this show. That's why I love this show. There you go. Thank you, you know bro. what I'm saying? Well, so much for freedom, though. When you think about it, so oh, much for freedom what, what of speech. Is that? So much for it. What is that? Bro, <laughs> why are pro wrestlers dying? <laughs> wow, at such an early yeah, age. Please. Look, I understand death, and you said when your time is your yeah, time. Yeah, but what's going on? But it on seems in this to business? be again, seventies not young. Spotlight. Right. If if y'all got cut off from what y'all doing, what you gonna do? If you can't do this no more, say say the feds ran into here right now and said you can never run a show again. What what what'd your life would be like after that? Wow. Have you thought about that before? Now, I'm are, not saying that's going to happen. Are you? Are you? Are you? I hope not. But but you see what I'm saying. Well, stop. Are you saying yeah. that for a lot of these spotlight after after it ends, it's it's just depressing and it weighs on them. I'm gonna say it again. I'm not wow. saying that you're wrong with your question. No, I'm just. It's the spotlight. Think wow. about it. You worked so hard. you was in the dark. Right. Right. You was in the dark. Right. You wrestled. You learn this craft sure. in a barn. I learned in a barn. Okay. In a wrestling yeah. ring. Okay. Okay, with Gene Anderson. Good company. He kicked my ass all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good company. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so NWA, Nelson Royal. Yeah. You know, of he course. didn't like nobody. I ain't like him too much. But he was good people. You see what I'm saying? He's still good people. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But 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 you in a barn, man, by yourself. Then all of a sudden you in front of 15,000, 10,000 people, you're on a pay-per-view and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Traveling and then, country to country. Then all of a sudden, whoop. Gone. Gone. Yeah. And so, wow. and there's a lot of guys not built for, for producing. A lot of guys not built for. These are real pro wrestlers. This is all they know. Right. This is all they can do. So right. how does Mustafa handle this stuff? Great question. Um, Well, you know, Mustafa is... Uh, Special kind of guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I when I when I when I, when, I, when I seen it, when I actually what did it for me was uh, my grandfather said, "You can do whatever you put your mind to," you know. So even if you get good at one thing, you can be good better at another thing. So I never thought about it mm -hmm. like that. And uh, it does hurt now. Don't get me wrong; it does hurt when you uh, stop for a minute. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, but that's because that's because that's think that's all you know. But deep down inside, I knew more than that, and I didn't let it get to me. You know, like that. You what know what is, I'm saying? What, what were the sort of things you discovered after when you when you did stop, you know, for Well what you what you find out is you gotta help other people. You know, other people need you bad. Mm -hmm. You know, in the wrestling business. Mm -hmm. You know, I do I do a weightlifting club. Uh -huh. You know, things like that. These people really need you. You know, some of the guy the guys and, and girls don't have a daddy at the house, don't have a mom at the house. Some of them uh adopted. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. looking at you like and they trust you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't break that. Like when you run in a business like the way Vince is running the business, mm -hmm. Vince is is the best business mind you ever going to see in right. professional wrestling. Oh, sure, he's the prototype. Even in business, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's one of the best. Yep. So, yep. uh these other people can them all they Vince, want to. Vince McMahon's an American hero, man. Yeah, I he's love an him. American. Hey, come on, man. I love Vince McMahon. He is. He is. They, 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 they can say they can say what always they want. Love him. I, I ain't gonna, uh, you know, I ain't gonna sit here and say I'm a kiss, but I, but I, but I, but I admire, I admire what he did. You know what, what he done. does because yeah. look at all those guys that he employed. Look at all the guys he employed. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? He brought it to a whole then, other level. Tell us, tell us about Bobby Eaton. Oh, yeah. Your thoughts on Bobby? Well, I, I, I met Bobby at WCW, so uh, Bobby, Bobby, we wasn't no friends or nothing like that. Bobby would tell me certain things. Hey, Mustafa, you know, that was, <laughs> you know, a little bit. And he, he, he helped me a right. little bit. Right. Then he would just walk on. He was a, he didn't talk a whole lot, but, you know, he, he would say something to me and then walk on. And, mm -hmm. You know, there's always some guys back there. Uh, Stone Cold helped me. Nice. You know, WCW. Nice. Um, uh, uh, a few other guys. Uh, Jody Hamilton. Uh, Jody Hamilton gave me my name. Right. He, you know, and, uh. We, we were talking, and he said, uh, Jody was like, damn, kid, you, you sometimes, but you're getting better. <laughs> this poor you know man. what I'm saying? But, but see, that, that made me feel good. I, that's the kind of coaching okay. I'm used to. I was brought up, get cussed out, you go back out and do what you're supposed to do. That's, you know, that's, I, when my yeah. dad was my basketball coach. I'm yeah. big time into WWC. I, I've always been fascinated with the territory. And, uh, and of course, you were champion there at one point back in the day. I, were you... Were you, you know, coming off what happened with the great Bruiser Brody? Were you worried about working down there when you got the call? Like, you know, did you did you think about that that sort of thing? Was it was there an unsafe shadow hanging over Puerto Rico? And could you trust Cologne? Oh, you being nice. Did, did you what you asking me? Did I have a shank? Yeah, I did. There we go. There go. I didn't realize I had to say, yeah, bro. Yeah, did you yeah, bring yeah. weapons? I mean, were you yeah, worried? Yeah, I, I, mean, shank, okay. I had a shank, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, How did there you, was no doubt about it. That, you know, like. Um, I, I get it where, you know, some guys say, I can't believe that people would go down there and still work for Cologne and right. things like that. But, um, you know, I had a personal vendetta to, to get down there Interesting. and, uh, okay. but, uh, the work, the territory, you know, and, and I went to, I went to every projects and they real, but, you know, when you're doing drugs, man, you know, and I'm hitting the beach, I'm working out, I'm hitting the gym. You know, I get high. This, 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 this is what I do. Drink a case of beer before the wrestling match. Mm. You sweat it out when you get by the time you get there. It's so damn hot in Puerto Rico. Right. So the the uh, I wrestle, I go work out, go to a bar, drink up some more, get high, you wake up that morning, run on the beach, then go get uh, go go lift weights, get high again. That was my schedule. I would have definitely. You see what I'm saying? You. That would have been and, fun. And, uh, I worked out I all the time. Like that. Yeah, I, I, I still like do. That. Go get some babes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Can you get a little bit? Hey, uh, let's killer. go to the beach. Can I have and a get shank? Can you get me a shank? Oh, dude, dude I this is one. awesome. But you, said, got, you, got got a, a you said you had a personal <laughs> vendetta. Like, what was the? Yeah, vendetta? well, the personal vendetta was to go down there and succeed. You know, succeed and 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 do the things I was kind of on your own type of thing. Like, I can do this on my own. Right. That's right. I got you. TV champion, tag team champions. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And uh, uh, Carlos didn't I, didn't, I didn't have no problem with Carlos. Uh, Carlito was down there. I love Carlito. You know, his exactly. other brother. Mm hmm You know. Mm hmm uh, You know, and everybody. Uh, and uh, we, we got along. Uh, maybe I, I wrestled Jose. Okay. You know. Okay. And um, so you we did didn't have no problem. Jose. Any, uh, any, any personal feelings about Mr. Mr. Jose, Mr. Invader? <laughs> you, you, you know, man, the... 
when you overstep your boundaries mm. and stuff, you don't stay in your lane, mm -hmm. things happen. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's all I can say about that. Things happen. You know. Do you uh, think the colognes knew? I mean, you know, you were down there. That, oh, that, come that, on. I mean, Man, come on. You know, yeah, I mean. I look, I mean, you know, most people don't even Rico, ask this everybody. question, but I'm, I'm asking it, you know. In Puerto, I mean, in Puerto Rico, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I mean, it's almost like asking who shot Camacho JFK got in this killed. Business, Camacho you know? got killed down there. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That tells you. Right. Something's up. Something's they, up. You would get killed down there. Yeah, you get killed. If you don't know somebody that yeah. knows somebody. See, I spoke Spanglish. To get, in the, to get in the project. Okay. If I didn't speak in the project, because you know there's real uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 drug boys, man. Oh, sure. All down there. Oh, sure. And so you walk into a place, you get shot right away. Yeah. If, uh, dead in the face. Yeah. It's usually dead in the face. Well, I That's it. But I, I survived because I knew somebody that knew somebody. And I think your statement, stay, out, you know, stay in your lane, you're fine. Stay in get your out lane. of your lane. Interesting. You might get shanked in the shower, right? You can get, you can get it, man. You but, know what I'm saying? And... and, and, and you know, if he even had an idea, mm. I guarantee he wouldn't win that show. Uh, Rob Van Dam has been put in Vince's Hall of Fame. What were your thoughts when you heard about Rob Van Dam going into Vince's WWE Hall of Fame? I mean, he, he deserved it, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can't, I can't knock that. Uh, RVD, cool, man. You know, uh, yeah, what was your relationship like with him back in the day? Oh man, we get high every day. I was gonna say you're yeah, already yeah, like yeah, a lot. The stars are aligned yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. We, we we get okay. high every day, man. And uh, okay. uh, you know, he work out, I work out. Go get high again and go to the go to the show. Mm -hmm. And keep. What was your relationship with uh, Bubba Ray Dudley? Oh. Uh, uh, what, better yet. What kind of person was he in real life? Interesting. I'm not a big fan of his, just so you know. I just, I, he just turned Bubba twist Ray, me the me, wrong me, way. Me and, Bubba, me and Bubba Ray was uh, uh, cool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I, I I think that some guys, I'm not putting them in the category, of this, but I'm just telling you in, from watching the past, mm -hmm. I'm talking about going back where it was Harley Race all the way back to Buddy Rogers. Sure. Um some guys don't know it's a work. Some guys shoot. Don't know. They, they shoot. They have the shoot side of them, but some guys don't know this is a work. Okay? You know what I'm saying? We here, we, we work in them to make money. Right. I'm, not, I'm not here to break your neck. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to, we need to draw money. You know, we're not here to, uh, to do that. We know what we could do to each other. You know, if we could. But, come on. It's so is money. it basically like, you know, get over yourself uh, kind of situation? Well, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. Some guys that get belts, yeah, they really think they got the belt. Oh, <laughs> boy. I didn't mark out on anybody. Okay. You know, but I'm, I'm be honest with you. I okay. didn't mark out on anybody. I admire people. Okay. You got to get, you got to eat now. This ain't marking out now. Right. They, they, if, you, if you mark out, you starve. Who earned your highest level of admiration in those days? You walked into the locker room and you says, oh, damn, okay, okay. Was there someone? Nobody. Uh, I would say um, the, the person who took the time out to, like, give me talks at times was uh, Stone Cold and then Ron Simmons. Wow. Ron Simmons gave me a good uh, mm -hmm. talking to in WCW. You know, uh, I, I I do have big respect for Ron. Maybe Ron too. You know, and, and, and yeah. Steve. Mm. Stop it. The fans only knew New Jack, you know, as the gimmick that they saw on television. Can you tell us who was New Jack the person? Just so the fans have an idea of who Jerome was as a person. Um... He was um, a caring person, a real, you know, real dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we kick it, and uh, we was always into something. I ain't going to, you know, say what we, was, <laughs> what we was always into. But, you know, he was good people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, he was uh, a kind of dude that watch out for you, you know, and, and, and you didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was Jerome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, New Jack was a... Totally different person, you know what I'm saying. But that, that was the the money side. That was mm -hmm. the money side to get you money, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But Jerome was good. He, 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 believe it or not, he was good people. You know what I'm saying. I know a lot of people um, 
or saying different things, uh, you know, about me and him or whatever. I don't care. You know what I mean? But uh, we had fun, man. We had a lot of fun. About you? And on oh, yeah. August 14th, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas will be back in studio, friend nice. of the show at nice. 5 p.m. And Beautiful. Tony's got something called Boston on his mind. Oh, my God. Is this guy, are we going to be talking about whaling? Have you ever heard of the Boston Wrestling Channel? I heard of it. I, I watched it a few times. Okay, so tell me, what are your thoughts on that big fat whale that <laughs> interviews wrestlers? I think I think that <laughs> you yeah, think he's fat. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think he's a whale. And and, 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 and you know, sometimes I, I feel like he exposes the wrong things in, out of those guys. Oh, right, wait, right. You oh, know wait, what wait, I'm so saying? Give me some examples. It, it, it this is but, just so another listen, legend. You know, it, it, it's about Tony. The, you know about Tony. Uh, yeah. Jack Jack has some things to say about Tony Atlas. We, 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 everybody don't get along. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying is, mm -hmm. uh, Tony, Tony, uh, he, he exposed stuff on Tony that Tony he didn't really have to tell people that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it, it, it helped people. I, I get that. Had Matt Bourne when he was living on there. Had him say some stuff. You know, and I was looking like, is that what you want? The garbage side of the, uh, the game you. all the time? Thank right. you. Or do you right. want? Or do you want? Uh, what 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 makes wrestling what it is? How how's it how has it survived all these years? Sure. Through everything, this thing done survived the COVID. Mm, that's right. There you go. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That go. people don't understand that wrestling is a teaching skill. That you, 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 if you look at it the wrong way, go back and do some of the old promos. Go back and listen to some of the old promos where people got jumped. Or uh, I think me, me and Jack, we had a a, a few. Mm -hmm. Jack was hot. That yeah. that was great, by the way. Well, you know, that it, was, it was great hot. Feud. I and, love and, that. and 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 uh, uh, I was about to stick up Paulie for that money that we did that on that <laughs> on that promo. That was. I was about to stick him up. We was on the side of a uh, building. Uh, I'm gonna knock him in his head. And, you know. <laughs> but you know, it, 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 it's just the fact of the matter is that go back and do some of the old promos and just see. Don't look at some of this newer stuff because mm -hmm. these guys ain't mad enough. See what the the the, the way to do it. The way to do it. With some of some of the guys, some you know, if they did it where, cause a lot of them lose girlfriends, they can't mm. keep a woman. Right. So, you know, they don't know how to keep it up. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, <laughs> it's it, 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 It's that you should compare it to uh, losing a girlfriend, bills coming in, you got to pay rent. Uh, God, damn, you know how many bills I'm gonna have in one time. You know. You, you got to compare it to that and then take it out on that guy. So overall, though, from what I'm getting from you, is you hate that fat whale as much as I do. I don't, I don't too much care for him like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he's because, humiliating. Because, because, he yeah. humiliates He's trying to legends. humiliate the – because what it is, man, if he had ever stepped into a ring – would, yeah, I'm just saying. If, if he had if, this you have a job or whatever, in the ring. What are you he, he would about? he would he would show those guys more respect. 